And this was about the concern that the North Korean leader would conduct another nuclear test. That, of course, has happened. They called them tactical nuclear drills, all overseen by Kim Jong-un, which Donald Trump called the rocket man. And the rocket man was unheard of when Donald Trump was president. He, Donald Trump made it quite clear to the rocket man that you have good toys, our toys are bigger. Simple story, called him the rocket man. Well, North Korea has revised its nuclear laws last month envisioning a wide range of scenarios in which, could, in which it could use nuclear weapons. And Mr. Kim declared North Korea, quote, an irreversible nuclear power. So Peggy, that ends the possibility of denuclearization talks. What does this mean, do you think? Because Seoul, Tokyo and Washington, South Korea, Japan and America have ramped up combined naval exercises, including deploying the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier named after your boss, Ronald Reagan, to the area twice. And that's infuriated North Korea, which sees the joint drills as rehearsals for invasion. You've been in this strategic environment. What are your thoughts? Well, it's really sad and scary to see that North Korea and China are basically calling the shots because there are regular military drills and exercises that take place all the time with our allies in that part of the world. And several times Biden has actually canceled them because he said, we don't want to provoke them. Well, his bad policies are the provo provocation. He is the one who's causing that through his weakness for these bullies to be emboldened. And so we need to continue doing the things that we had scheduled and planned to do. And think about it. Why didn't any of this happen under Donald Trump? That's great. Because Trump, like my boss, Ronald Reagan, believed in peace through strength. You Absolutely. are the deterrent by using strong mm. language in a way that they know that you mean it and you're going to back it 100%, up. And so 100%. I mean, weakness there yeah, instead it's, it's of not, peace through strength. 100%. I mean, it's not the time for the free world to be led by a president who's lost his marbles and a vice president who doesn't know her geography. To Trump and the Hispanic community. Now, Joe Biden was touring hurricane ravaged Fort Myers, but Donald Trump made a 40 minute speech to the National Hispanic Leadership Conference in Miami. How significant was that, urging the Hispanic community to get behind him to stop the US becoming a country, his words, of recession, depression, and fear? The Hispanic community have traditionally been Democrat supporters, but they claimed they supported Trump when Trump became president. How significant is this with? the midterm only weeks away. Well, I don't know that recession, depression, and fear is a good strategic message going into the midterms or any time, but Donald Trump has con consistently gained grounds with the Hispanic community, and it's an insult for the Democrats to continue to believe that Hispanics like crime, they like open borders, they're okay with inflation and energy prices that are on the rise. It's insulting to them, and so Donald Trump always spoke to them from a space of policy that matched their values. And so so we saw Maya Flores take a House seat in deep blue Texas, a seat that hadn't been held by a Republican for over 100 years. And so she flipped that seat. I think we're going to see a lot of surprises going into the midterms in November, not only in Texas, but all over the nation. I don't care whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. We don't want our kids dying of fentanyl. I don't care if you're a Hispanic or African-American or any other American person. We are not OK with crime, with inflation, oh. with gas prices, with open borders, with the wokeness in our schools. So these policies, if the Republicans continue to advocate for the return to Trump era policies, America first policies and return against the Biden policies that are destroying America and the world, we're going to do very well in the midterms. Great stuff. Outstanding, Peggy. Outstanding.